We're at the University of Ontario Institute of Technology and I'm joined with our meteorologist Matt Grinter. So Matt's going to take us through the different wind speeds of Hurricanes Irma and Harvey. Are you ready for this Matt? Oh I'm ready. I'm kind of nervous but let's do this. We're going to start to take it up to Hurricane Category 1 at 119 kilometers per hour or 74 miles per hour. So right here we're above 119 and we're actually looking at Hurricane Category 1 winds right now. We're going to take it up to, 100, to Category 3 now. That's winds of 178 kilometers per hour or 111 miles per hour. So we can see, there, you can't really tell the difference with a flag between Category 2 or Category 3, but just imagine driving almost twice the highway speed limit. Okay, now we're going to take it up to Category 4, but we're actually going to increase it a little bit to 215 kilometers per hour or 135 miles per hour. And this is actually what landfall in Pujo Key and as well Mark Island. The wind speeds were sustained at 215 kilometers per hour. So this was what it actually felt like on land during landfall. So you can see Leanne is looking at the flag. We can see that it is actually ripping a bit at the end in these speeds. Now we've made it past Hurricane 5 status. So that's 252. We're gonna see if we can try to crack it up. There's 262 kilometers per hour. So this is the speed at which it made landfall in Cuba. Hurricane Irma made landfall at 260 kilometers per hour. So it took sustained winds of 215 kilometers per hour for this flag to start ripping. It actually formed a knot. But Matt, we didn't get up to the wind speeds when Irma made landfall on Barbuda. Yeah, so we only got up to 262 kilometers per hour in here, and the sustained wind speeds that made landfall in Barbuda, 295 kilometers per hour. So that was absolutely devastating. The Prime Minister said that about 95% of structures on the island were completely destroyed. 